If you're a student, working, or looking for work in the state of Florida, then you probably interacted with the state's many workforce programs, and you already know what I'm about to tell you. Florida's workforce system is broken, and I agree. None of this serves Floridians or their families. We need change. It's time to disrupt Florida's broken workforce development system. Time to reimagine a network that works for everyone and sets our state on the path to prosperity. This is why I've introduced the Reimagining Education and Career Help Act, or more simply, the REACH Act. And it's why I'm introducing the Consumer First Workforce Legislation. Let's delve into the problems with Florida's workforce development system and explore the solutions our bills provide. We have to start with the federal government, which provides funding for these workforce programs. With federal funding comes inflexible rules and requirements that force Florida to spread services across several different agencies. Most of these do not communicate or share data. Imagine an orchestra where everyone is playing their own song with no direction and no conductor. All you would hear is a mess of sound. The REACH Act fixes that problem by adding a conductor to the equation, someone to direct the music, the REACH Office of the Governor. This coordination refocuses our entire system to serve the consumer better. When one of them, let's say a job seeker trying to learn welding, accesses one agency's services, they are not well connected to the other agencies and their services. The Consumer First Workforce Bill creates a single workforce information system that connects all these agencies together. That way the consumer can access the programs and resources available at all agencies at once through one location or website. This no wrong door entry strategy will allow us to better serve all Floridians who need training, work, and benefits when necessary. But there is another aspect of the system that we need to dive into. We can finally know what is and isn't working. Our workforce faces both short-term and long-term challenges. In the short term, we have things like the COVID-19 pandemic, and in the long term, we have things like workforce automation. To face these challenges, we need a pipeline to drive consumers to the in-demand jobs that companies need to fill today and tomorrow. Let's look at just one aspect of this, credentials. Floridians can obtain lots of different credentials that set them up for a future career. Some of these are highly valuable and some are worthless. By assigning consistent success metrics across all of them, we will learn which ones are working and let the consumer make an informed decision on which to obtain. To achieve this goal, the Consumer First Workforce Bill creates an entirely new credentialing system and aligns employee skills with employer demand. So to sum it up, our workforce system isn't getting the results Floridians desperately need as we enter the 21st century. Whether through a lack of transparency or accountability or expectations, our system isn't working. The REACH Act fixes all of this. It lays the foundation for a reimagined workforce network. And the Consumer First Workforce Bill builds on that foundation, creating a robust workforce development program that serves the consumers first and foremost. We may be facing one of the greatest challenges in the history of this state. But it's a challenge we can overcome.